Hey, this is Ricky Kearney Cichlids. This video we're looking at, does algae clean your aquarium water? This topic has been going on for years. I'm not sure why there's so much debate in it. Because for years and years, algae has been used in sewage treatment plants to clean up sewage. So why not use algae in your aquarium to clean your aquarium water? So in this video we're going to look at some of the ways you can get your aquarium water clean by algae. You don't have to have it on the front of your glass where it's a pain. You have to scrub it all the time. I can show you how to do it. It's simple. It's cheap. I can show you some of the great fish in this aquarium right here. That uses the method of having algae to get the water clear, get it healthy, get it vibrant. Get the vibrant colors. I guess a vibrant aquarium, vibrant colors in these dragon blood peacock cichlids. I can tell you some stories about other aquariums that I have noticeable difference in setting up the method to get the algae to clean your aquarium water. Just check out this video. Does algae clean your aquarium water? Do you want algae to clean your aquarium water? Check it out. Alright, let's kick off this video. Let me start by telling you a little bit about this aquarium. It's a 125 gallon aquarium. And it's full of dragon bloods. It only has two synodonuses in it. Now what's so unusual about this 125 gallon aquarium is there has not been any water changes done in this aquarium in six months. The filter has not been changed in over a year. But yet the fish in this aquarium are thriving. The setup is cheap, inexpensive, and very easy to do. Now, why would I promote this if it's, you know, cheap, inexpensive, easy to do, anyone can do it? Why would I promote that? I just believe that you should help out fellow hobbyists and learning new methods of doing things. Now, this method may be, learn, you know, new to hobbyists, but it has been around for years. The Germans perfected the Matten filter way back in the 40s or 50s that was back you know when there was very you know very few motorized pumps or air pumps you know things to get things going uh well as they should and they wanted to set up big aquariums they were really big into the fish and they still are the matten filter has not been disputed as a very effective filtration system and this aquarium, the matten filter has been used for a year and not been cleaned. It's not been messed with. I haven't done anything to it. It uses two submersible pumps. And it cleans the water as well as I want it to. Because this has got a hunter fish in here. So you are going to see some particles running around in the aquarium a little bit. But that's going to be expected because you have over a hundred fish in this aquarium. But as far as the how vibrant the colors are on these fish, how healthy they are on this fish, it does the best, best that I've ever seen as far as keeping the fish healthy and vibrant. Now, why do I mention the vi you know the matten filter when the topic is on algae? Well, that's because of the method I use to get the algae in the aquarium where it cannot be seen. So let me let you take a look at where the matten filter is. Well, now let me slow down just a little bit. Get to see some of the cool fish. Let me focus in on a little bit right here. Get a little focus in. Alright, going to the other side of the aquarium. There's a little bit of a glare. 
Let me back it up just a tad, just a tad. All right, what you see there, I'm sorry about the glare, it's from the window. Let me focus in here a little bit better. All right, that's the mat and filter. It's at the end of the aquarium. It takes up very little space. You don't see any hoses going to your aquarium. Uh, you don't have the problems with power outages where there could be a backflow and one of your uh, uh, seals doesn't hold. I've had that happen on many, many different manufacturer aquarium filters where it backflowed and for some reason when it backflowed the seal no longer held and it was a big disastrous mess on the floor uh, I had to run around the you know the house every time the power went out now I don't there's not going to be any problems with backflows any any problems with uh, uh, something being needing to be filled nothing so but get back to the point where's the allergy or the algae see my finger there barely is behind the mat and filter behind the mat and filter is the algae why do you want to see the algae in this aquarium here why would you want to see it I mean you can have it there you know, why would you want it out and open here you know, why would you want to take away from all these amazing looking dragon bloods? So what do you do to get the algae in this aquarium without it being seen? Well, on the other side of the aquarium, of course, is the, the glass end of the aquarium. And you just hang a couple of lights, LED lights. Let me show you those. So here I've got two uh, lights on the end of this aquarium for the mountain filtration and the algae scrubber. Very cheap to do. Those little uh, light fixtures only from range from five to ten to twelve dollars, depending on where you get them at. Get them at most hardware stores. You know the LED bulbs are going for a lot cheaper now, so you could you know have the whole setup. You know, depending on how, what size aquarium you have, if you have a small aquarium, one light fixture is fine. I wanted to go ahead, since I've got so many fish in here and doing so good, to see if there would be a difference if I added, you know, another light. You know, and see what it did. So the other light, uh, I added to it, and it grew more algae, of course. More light grows more algae. That means it's taking out more of the, you know, stuff you don't want in your aquarium. Which can be, you know, your, your um, organics, uh, the tint of your water, it could be a little bit off. It can clean that up. I've actually seen the visible differences in many a different aquariums that I've just recently, in the last month or two, set up an algae scrubber on. And those, the reason I can tell the difference in the water quality is because I didn't, you know, do water changes on it. So it wasn't going to get better on its own. The water, you know, the, as far as the coloration of the water, the clarity of the water was not going to get better on its own. So, you know, when I put the lights on those uh, uh, aquariums with the matte and filters, and those aquariums that hadn't had water changes in months, uh, the water quality, the clarity of the water improved dramatically. It's not just, you know, a healthy situation here where your fish are going to be healthy, the nitrates you're taking out by the algae, it's actually, you know, going to help your clarity of your water. It's improving it. And it's also that the algae scrubber works 24 hours a day and puts more uh, oxygen in the water at night when the lights are out. So there's more oxygen going into the water at all times, which, you know, everybody thrives on oxygen, fish thrive on oxygen, more oxygen is good. It's not a bad thing, you know, uh, oxygen is good, it helps to decompose waste faster, oxygen helps break things down. 
So, it, you know, it's just a cumulative effect of having the algae scrubber on your aquariums, behind the mountain filter so you don't see the algae. It's just a great experience to have this on my aquarium. I have not regretted at one time having a mountain filter. I have not regretted one time having a homemade algae scrubber on there. Not once. It has been a great experience and I think that if you, you know, try it out, you'll like it. Now it does take, you know, a couple of weeks to get your algae started. Uh, so, you know, as far as setting up a new tank, you know, just realize a mountain filter and an algae scrubber is not going to be, you know, ready to roar in a brand new setup of aquarium. If your aquarium is already set up and established, it's got the good bacteria in it, uh, you know, so there's been, a, there's been a nitrogen cycle. So it's more likely that you have great success with the already set up aquarium. Now I made a mistake, so I don't want you to make this mistake yourself recently where I set up, reset up two aquariums and put mountain filters on it. Which sounds great, and I don't regret it. But, you know, there was not any, you know, already colonized bacteria in the mountain filter. So, I did add sponge filters that have been in the aquariums, other aquariums, for a long time. I thought that that would be enough. Just let them sit, sit in the aquarium. That is not going to do the trick. If you do that method where you're taking a sponge filter or something else, uh, like if you moved old substrate, that's a good method to do. If you have any type of uh, uh, integrated filter media from another filter, you could add it behind the matting filter to get it started, to jump start it. Uh, that is something you should do. Uh, you know, either that. Or actually, if you use the sponge filters, actually have them going. Have them set up where there's air going through as actually actually working as a filter. Just sitting in the aquarium does not do what I thought it would do. And if you have too many fish in there, you can have some problems. So if you're setting up a brand new aquarium and you want to try the matting filter and the algae scrubber, don't forget the algae scrubber. Don't forget that out there in the world, all over the world, they use algae to clean water. And now you've heard about the algae and the oceans around, now there's algae blooms, that's because there's pollution. And the algae grows and gets that water clean. So yes, it can, the algae can cause problems in the ocean, but it's also cleaning the water. It's cleaning the water. So, you know, Long, you know, short term it could be a problem, but long term it is actually cleaning the pollution that we have caused. So algae will clean your water. Uh, it can be, but where you won't have to see your algae. If you look in this aquarium, there's not any algae on the back walls. Uh, there's not algae growing on the rocks. It's growing behind the matting filter where you can't see it. It's doing a great job. It's definitely making a difference on the clarity of the water. This this aquarium uh, has not had a water change in five months. It's doing great. It's actually improved since I've done this. The mountain filter hasn't been cleaned in over a year. I don't, I don't see any reason why to change it, to clean it. It's doing great. So, just remember, when you set up a new aquarium, if you decide to use the matte filtration and algae scrubber, it does take several weeks to get the algae going. It could take up to a month to really get it really get it going. And you want to be able to have beneficial bacteria in your aquarium before you have too many fish in your aquarium, just like any new setup. Don't forget, don't get excited and say, oh, I want to set up this aquarium with a mountain filter and an algae scrubber and it will be great from the start. Make sure you use like old substrate, old filter floss. Sponge filters are actually working during the time you have it set up. 
use methods that so that the your aquarium setup won't be a failure because a, a fish can be expensive you can be attached to them and if you move them to a new aquarium it can be very uh, devastating to most people to lose some fish uh, because we're such in a hurry because we're excited it's okay to be excited but try to take those steps to make sure that uh, your setup is successful Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I think it's been beneficial to me to do what I'm doing here. It may be beneficial to you. Some of you decided to do this method. Talk to me about it. Tell me how you, you know, if you liked it, if it's doing good, you know, you know, tell me what's going on with it. I know there's several of you that have said you've done this and tell me how, give me some feedback. And also, also the main question, do you really think that algae cleans your aquarium water? Let me know what you think. I mean, if you don't think it cleans it, talk about it. Let me hear what you say. If you do think it's cleaning your water, it can clean your water. Also tell me what you know about it. Well, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm glad you got to watch some amazing peacocks. They're looking better all the time. They're not anywhere near full coloration. So look forward to future videos on this Dragon Blood Aquarium. Thank you very much.